Well, hello guys, how's it going? Alright, so I got my good friend Boomer J7 Plus, and we got that front facing camera. So, we did another obstacle challenge, you know, my kid's favorite toy card. We also have the wife's bunny slippers, don't want to run over that. We also have some old shoestrings, yes, and of course, a magical unicorn. Okay, so the first challenge we're going to do is see how well the Roomba J7 navigates various power cables. I have a power strip. I also have a charging cable for a cell phone and some shoestrings. So this is kind of like an anti-tangle test. Also, we'll see if the camera can pick up these various obstacles. Now, iRobot did say that down the road, they will continue to add more obstacles since they physically had to add obstacles to its database, kind of like the Ecovax T8. But it looks like the Roomba J7, as of now, is able to recognize some of these obstacles. Okay, so I've been using the Roomba J7 for about a month now as my primary robot, and I've been pretty impressed with the performance so far. While it's not the best cleaning robot vacuum out there, it does do its job. It's able to get to an area if I tell it to clean a certain room. And if there's obstacles down, like maybe some slippers, maybe there's a bottle or something, it will actively avoid those obstacles as well. So that's a huge improvement over the previous Roombas, where they tend to kind of just bump into them and maybe push the object out of its way. As of now, during my personal testing, I think the Roomba J7 is one of the best optical avoiding robots out there, especially for like pet feces. Now, this system isn't 100% foolproof, it may occasionally mess up. Uh, towards the end of this test, you can see it kind of hit the power strip, also hit the power cable, so I wouldn't rely on 100%, but for the most part, for emergencies, I think the J7 should uh, get itself out of sticky situations. Okay, here's another string test. You can see that the Roomba J7 pushed the bag away, but it did a really good job with the shoestrings and also that purse in the middle of the room. Not sure if you have a purse laying in the entryway, but just in case you do, the J7 shouldn't get hung up on these things. Hmm, one of my questions I always wondered is, does the Roomba avoid Princess Lego sets? This thing looks like it's built like a castle. Look at these little flag things. Alright, let's go now find out. Well, thanks so much for watching, and if you find this video helpful, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I'll try to do more of these tests with other uh, robot vacs, maybe the Roblox S6 Max V, the S7, maybe the Ecovax down the road. Alright, you guys be safe out there, and if you're interested in the J7, I'll put a link down below. Alright, catch you guys later. Adios.